This bike is mine. Yes, there are many like this bike, but this one is my bike. Hello YouTubers, subscribers, friends, welcome to my channel. I just want to show you what I've been using for my camera mount holder. Uh, this is what, uh, when it was pointing to the uh, uh, kind of cockeyed, this is what I used in the video. I think it was number three video. I had my Fuji camera mounted inside of there. And uh, I had it strapped to my head with this uh, these old motorcycle goggles. I took the uh, center part out and I just used these straps and I had it in here. And uh, today I went and did, I don't know, a 25 minute drive out in the country, long stretch of roads with twisties and dips. And um, I had it rigged up to mount to my chest. And I needed more stretchy, uh, stretchiness. Let me show you what I did here. I got this stretchy bungee cord. And then I had to put more uh, foam padding here to give it an angle. But I didn't have enough angle or, or the, I shouldn't have used foam because it compressed. And all I saw was the uh, nice view of my gas tank and uh, RPM gauge as I was driving down the road. So... I don't know if I'm going to load those videos or not because it's like 25 minutes of staring at my gas tank. And then uh, once in a while I'll sit up and you see the road, beautiful view of the road and cactus. and It's just a really long drive. I'm going to have to redo that drive again. But uh, yeah, this was the first test. Was uh, The first one where I was uh, doing the shot of the road where you saw the road a lot. That was uh, strapped to a baseball cap. And that didn't work. And then... Like I said, this was strapped to my forehead, and then uh, I added this bungee cord to do a chest mount, and the chest mount sucks. Even when I would sit up and you get the perfect view, I can't ride like that all the time because it's a cafe racer and you have to be crushed over like a crotch rocket. So I'm going to trash this setup here. This ain't going to work. I'm not going to use it no more. I have a new, more improved setup. I haven't even tried it yet, but... It's going to be good. Uh, I showed it to my son just now, and his comment was, well, you're going to try a helmet, uh, an Ironman uh, cam mount? And that's funny he said that because uh, the first thing I did when I thought about it, when I put it on my, uh, it's going to be a wrist mount, uh, first thing I thought about was the uh, Ironman. So here you have it. I have an old belt uh, that didn't fit me no more. I, I cut it to fit my wrist nice and tight. And uh, there you have the... Uh, Fuji camera. I mean, I love this camera. It's shockproof, weatherproof, waterproof, dustproof, freezeproof. The only thing is, the microphone sucks on it. So, uh, I just use my cell phone uh, voice recorder, and then I just use this for video. And uh, let's see if I can get it turned on right now because the battery keeps dying on me. There you go. That's uh, on my wrist right here with it on. There's the battery flashing. So the next video I make is going to be made with this uh, wrist mount because I can get this wrist mount as I'm driving. See, I'm driving right here and I'm cruising along at a steady speed. I can take my hand off the, the handlebars. I can move it around. I can get different shots of, you know, I can stretch back behind my back and get a back shot. This is, you know, I could point down to the ground and get a ground shot. I could go like this, you know, wherever I point my, my arm and then... When I'm driving, you can see my fingers, I can wave. I see the battery just died on there. I can wave to the camera. You can see me shifting the clutch. It's gonna be a completely different uh, camera mount view that no one has ever seen before. I've never seen a camera on a, on a wrist. I've seen them on poles and stuff like that, but you know, this is gonna be my, my next brain uh, genius camera mount. Until I can get a better camera, I wanna get a, a different camera I'm working on right now, but until then, I can make videos just using this camera, you know. I'm trying to get the perfect shot uh, just so you can see what I see when I'm driving on these back country roads. Um, see if I want to go up, I can go up, I can point. Like, I, say I'm looking straight and I want to see what's on the left of me, I can just move my arm left and I can continue to look straight and ride my motorcycle. And uh, I think it's going to be really, really cool. So. I figured that uh, I'd show you guys the setup here. Um, the way it's set up right now, it's perfect setup, but uh, to get a, uh, let me get a better shot here, to get a uh, 
a more level view when I'm driving I'm going to have to um, put something underneath here so the camera can be tilted back a little bit like that so when I'm on the handlebars uh, it will be you can see over the it won't be pointed down towards the ground I'm going to stick something underneath here like right now I got foam under there in its perfect position so I uh, won't have to go test it but the battery keeps dying on me I mean when I got my hands on the grip right there it's the perfect setup it's, it's perfectly level and straight and then uh, I don't know maybe I'll just get the small piece of the, of the leather belt and then cut it and tuck it underneath there but who knows how long that foam will last but right now it it will probably cut down on vibration too because this doesn't have stabilization on this camera here I have on my uh, camera right now I'm filming I have stabilization but I don't want it, that camera cost me too much money I don't want to use that this one I've dropped I mean this thing has flew off my head and went spinning and then hit the ground and a uh, car ran over it and uh, it's still working that's why I love this camera so much you know I don't see me going spending four hundred dollars on a GoPro 4 and you know and uh, when I got this perfectly good camera that films in 1080p you know so the next video you see me doing a vlog, a test vlog. It's going to be done with this setup here. I call it the Iron Man wrist setup because uh, I was thinking that, and my son, first thing he said when it popped out of his head uh, was Iron Man, the Iron Man camera mount, he called it. So that will be the next video. This is just going to be a quick video, a uh, how to video uh, wrist mount. And if there's anybody else out there who wants to try it, go ahead and try it out, man. Test it out. Wrist mount. I got, I'm going to, I'll have a, like I said, I'll have a. 300, no, not 360, but like a 180. I can spin it around uh, up towards the right part of my. I, I could point it at me as I'm driving. Uh, and uh, I can also, uh, if I want, I could spin it. See? And I could point it at me while I'm riding. I can. Rap, rap, rap. You know, as I'm driving, I could just reach over here and while I'm holding the grip, reach over here with the gas throttle and give it a twisty. There you go. See? So there's going to be some testing on this uh, Iron Man wrist mount. And uh, we'll see how it works out. Using my Fuji Finepix XP55 action camera. I'm going making movies. This has been a 1-4 production. That's a wrap.